peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajali, there's been a breaking in what has been announced as a massive quake of 6.4 on the west southwest region of Ferndale, California. Now, I want... I. I 6.4 is large. It's not uh, just obliteratingly large. However, with earthquakes, I've learned it depends on the depth of the quake along with the intensity. So at 16.1 kilometers deep, uh, that can cause damage. So I pray everyone is safe. Um... However, most buildings in earthquake-prone regions do tend to be constructed with uh, just a shock-absorbing construction. And so hopefully no one's in an old-style building. That's one of the reasons why during the Great Quake in 1906 cause as much damage as it did and loss of life was because the buildings were rigid and even the slightest rumbling of the earth it caused them to collapse and it was that falling debris that wound up ending a lot of people's lives so I don't know what the damage will be in uh, Humboldt County I hope and pray for the safety of everybody who lives there. But I also, it, I get tired of the fear mongering. I know there are people who will accuse me of doing that very same thing. But no, 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 no. I never come before you unless I have already searched for the solutions, for the remedies, even to man-made radiation, which I, it, it, abs now there's a huge thing. And in terms of the earthquakes, at the same time, I'm willing to take in new information because I know the cores from Fukushima melted into the core of our planet. And we've seen the obvious transformation where it went from you know earthquakes happen volcanoes erupting happen but the frequency just went off the charts everyone just you couldn't deny something has changed and I know it's biblical but at the same time Allah is science he's science <laughs> he there's a process it's just that he understands the devil so well that he knew this dude is going to be looking for every single little thing he can turn into a weapon uh, that's in this planet and that included uranium ore which he refined down to a subnuclear level with fission and trust the fusion all the great you know hoopla about fusion that's full of crap too right? Because it's not energy efficient at all. And I'm doing more research to understand, but they still need to fuel every nuclear, whatever fusion or fission plant with oil, with coal. It's how can that be sustainable if you have to have an outside power source so the sucker doesn't melt down, right? So I've Always go and look at the earthquake map to see what's going on geologically. And I've noticed things have sort of calmed down. They've sort of stabilized, even though there's always patterns, but there were just such drastic uh, signs before uh, that something was really, really wrong. I'm not saying it's changed. They haven't found the cores in the planet. But I am really hoping uh, that they have been reabsorbed in a configuration uh, that renders them, you know, nullified 
to a certain extent because that's how they came out of the earth. In uranium ore, you've got uranium-238 and uranium-235 and different, you know, daughters of uranium. But the 238 keeps the volatility of the uranium in check, in deep check. And so you will get radon gas fumes emitting from a vein, a large vein of uranium ore. If you build a house over it, you're dead, right? Uh, but it's not as incinerating. It doesn't get in your food. Uh, like man-made transuranic isotopes, which are the physical particles. And this is very different, and I should explain, it's very different from Wi-Fi, EMF radiation, which is waves. It's waves, like the radon gas is waves uh, that jostle your DNA but particle radiation contains gamma, gamma waves, which are a whole nother level of wave uh, that destroy your DNA on impact. And that's the difference. So I'm praying that somehow, because I know Allah made this world with intelligence. He didn't make it just by accident with no big bang theory, okay? Otherwise, there'd be, be big bangs every single time you vacuumed in your house, right? If it's that unstable, but at the same time, it's a process, as I said. And so when I see the earthquakes, I, I see there are aftershocks um, happening. I hope that that corium is not so destabilizing to our planet uh, that it's going to just blow a whole big chunk of it off like we did once when we were stupid, right? Before before the Uruga around, we were just being curious about all sorts of things that Allah said, no, don't do that. And we did it. And that's why we got the moon, okay? Um, I'm hoping that won't happen because then... And awful lot of people are going to be going out and the planet might not be able to withstand such a catapulting explosion. I don't know. I don't want to lie to you or, or I, I, I ain't about the phony, right? And sometimes I, it would be better if I was, maybe I'm not saying to be better, but I'm just saying sometimes I'm too honest. All right. So yes, I, I pray everybody's all right. I hope the worst thing that happened is, is that you just lost your, you know, favorite, maybe not your favorite dish collection, but, you know, just the furniture was moved about, a couple pictures came off the wall, and that nobody was hurt. That would break my heart, okay? Um, so, whoo, support your warriors. I am one heck of a good writer. I don't like saying so myself. So I thank you all, who, all you wonderful people who've left reviews on the Amazon page. Go to 25,000yearscycle.net to purchase your copies of what so many others have confirmed are outstanding presents from me to you. I, 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 I don't mean that in, uh, in an arrogant sense, because there's lots of amazing writers out there, right? And I'm just saying, ain't a one of them going to analyze what's in your food right now. That ain't even no joke, because the FDA has just allowed all food grown in Fukushima into the U.S. food stream and the testing they did on the soils all around that destroyed nuclear plant are just as radioactive as they were right after it exploded. That's for real. We got a serious emergency that's ongoing. It doesn't just blow in, knock down the house, and then blow out again and you rebuild your house. No, no. Once your DNA is destroyed, all your future progeny are in trouble. And I've even discovered the method to keep that from happening. Because I ain't about fear mongering you. That's for daggone sure. I love you. Straight, black, family, pride, and we're good. Peace and blessings.